finally got onto some nicer Arneoceros. Look at that lovely bit there. Isn't that beautiful in the sun glowing away with that lovely creamy calcite from the Jurassic Coast, Arneoceros. Let's go fossil collecting. Well, I'm down here at the Cobb. You saw the River Lim earlier, with that river all in spate. And you can see the stormy weather here with the waves crashing in along the cob well the sea is very backed up today and uh you can see it's still pressing in i'm gonna have to wait for hours for the tide to go out well the sun is trying to peak out but it's quite a sunshine and showery day here in the new year early in the new year what i'll do with you while we're waiting for the tide to go back out for the next number of hours is i'll take you to the top area looking down into Pinay bay and film the tide crashing in against the cliffs. That'll be quite fun. There's the sun coming out. There's a family down there in the distance keeping to the top of the shoreline and the sea crashing against those cliffs at Monmouth Beach. Well, you can really see the rain spluttering down. Right down there in the distance, you can see the sea crashing in against those mudslides. So I'm not gonna go out along this stretch of the coastline into the tide has gone down for many hours. I'll go down there an hour before low tide, an hour after collecting today, but I'm going to show you some sights and sounds around Lyme Regis. Good view of the historic cob down there in the distance at Lyme Regis with the waves crashing over it there you can see. Well I've just headed up to this permissive path here. I'm going to go along to the Pinhay Warren just to see the sea hitting into Pinay Bay. I'll show you the waves crashing in there and I'm gonna trot back down to the Monmouth Beach car park and then go fossil hunting from there an hour before low tide today. Well, look at those huge rollers hitting into the cob down there. You've got Golden Cap as well down there in the distance. Let's focus in on those waves crashing down onto the cob. Look at that wave there really breaking over the top of the historic harbour. Here's the permissive path that I'm following along to get you these shots of Pinay Bay. And you can see it's really muddy in places and not very good in the winter to come along here. So slippery and slidey compared to the summer months. Well, you can hear just how squelchy it is. Here's a nice notice board for people to really understand what's going on along here. Down there is the sea, look at that. Big breakers there heading in. Here we go. I should be able to get a good view from up here as I step up and I'll pan round. Well, look at that. I'm gonna have a spot to eat here at this vantage point with those waves crashing in. It's lovely to see. I'm looking forward to my sandwiches. It's a good place to eat my lunch here. And then I'm going to go back the same way as I came and then head to the Monmouth Beach car park and then up towards the Ammonite pavement at low tide. Well, you can hear the sea roaring away down here along the shoreline. It's good to be finally out on the beach and the tide is lowering nicely now and I'm heading out into Pinay Bay. Look at this kelp here all washed from the ledges out to sea onto the shoreline so you know the sea is really doing some work here at the moment, pushing stuff up the beach, shoveling it around, hopefully washing some fossils out and I'll try and save some of the nice calcite ammonites from the destruction of the sea. And like I said, you can hear those big breakers there in the background. They must be shoveling around the fossil finds and hopefully they're not too bashed up by the sea's actions as they wash them out. But I'll have a look and see what we can find down here on the Jurassic Coast at low tide. I'll shift round into Pinay Bay. I think I've got about three hours today.
Well, here's quite a big lump of the Arneoceros block that I found along the Jurassic coast. I've got my chisel here to do some chisel work with. I've got my sturdy rubber gloves on there and I'm going to chisel along the block, try and open this block up using that sharp pointed chisel. You can see the mushroom end there as I uh, fold over the chisel end doing the tapping. So you've got to watch for those bits flying at times. And that's why safety glasses are recommended here on the Jurassic Coast if you're doing any of the right rock breaking. And I'm going to get through this big chunk, see what's contained in it. You can see calcite on calcite ammonites on the outside to give the game away there might be something more on the inside whole little section of them there let's see as i open the rock what's in it well funnily enough with all that work that i've just done breaking down that big rock i was only finding small stuff and uh not very much consequence, so I'll try and find some more. Well, got on the onto beach. some nicer Arneoceros. Look at that lovely bit there. Isn't that beautiful in the sun, glowing away with that lovely creamy calcite from the Jurassic Coast, Arneoceros bodleii. And I'll break some more of these rocks up and show you what's inside. Okay, let's split this little rock. There you go. Look at that lovely ammonite there protruding out, Euagasicerus. That's a good one to take home, to do some preparation of. Let's uh, focus in on it. That's a nice one, that will prepare up very well. Euagasicerus, that ammonite, and the impression of uh, Arneoceros bodleoi there. Another nice Arneoceros ammonite there. Some more in the block to tap out. Well, it's great to be down here in Pinay Bay looking for the fossils today. And look at this big ammonite here on the shoreline. I'll just tilt the camera and you can see here this lovely ammonite, Aerotites bucklandi impression. See how large that Aerotites bucklandi ammonite must have been. There's my hands in it for scale. Here's the view, a lovely view down to the west there with the clouds coming in on the southwesterly winds. Well, if you're scrolling through my videos at the moment and uh, just looking along very quickly, then this will uh, pull you up in your tracks. We're looking for pattern recognition when we're looking for fossils along the Jurassic coast, but this it looks like a plastic owl without its head. So. Uh, I think that one has had its day there. I often uh, get asked, do I make enough money doing the fossil hunting along the Jurassic Coast? Well, not really. I do a number of different jobs like fossil walks, guided fossil walks at low tide along the Jurassic Coast. And also too, as you can see there, I'm Brandon, the head gardener in one of the establishments in Lyme Regis. So I've worked my way up to head gardener. Anyway, there's the owl. I think I'll, uh, it, it's, it's got a mo movement of its own there. Well, there's still some big waves rifling into Pinay Bay, crashing onto the shoreline. And I'm just going to show you a serious part of the fossil collecting, and that's to stay away from the dangerous cliffs that are liable to fall suddenly and without warning. There's the lovely sunset down there in the distance, but let's just focus on what I was just saying. I'm just down here right in Pinay Bay and look at that block there with the mud on it, freshly fallen block. And that block there has fallen onto the beach from quite high up. Let's show you the mud slip from which it's fallen down onto. It's come from quite a high height in the cliffs, rolled down onto the shoreline. And that's why I say stay away from the dangerous cliffs all the time on my videos. Well, there's my stone face that I filmed for a short video on YouTube, which has done really well. This could be some of the last evening sun here in Pinay Bay. It's such a beautiful evening though, and 
the sun's quite warm today for the beginning of January so hopefully fingers crossed the warmer weather will be on its way in the next months ahead sooner than later look at those cliffs just running with water that direct runoff coming down Oh boy, that looks like the last of the sun this evening. You can see it going down there. The sun is going down beneath the clouds. I'm going to show you some of the bigger ammonites down through to the east here of Pinay Bay on the rocks. And uh, the last of the big waves there are rolling in as the tide starts to go lower and lower and the sea flattens out. So uh, let's have a head along the coast. Well, there you go. Look at that big chunk of an ammonite there at the surface and a nice one there eroding away, an ammonite from the Jurassic coast. Look at all these unusual forms of the fool's gold, the iron pyrite here on the beach. Marcasite, pyrite, unusual mineral formations you see down along this stretch of the coastline that you can pick up. It's always in scoured out pockets on the beach. Real oddments there. Look at that cloud formation down there in the sky. It looks a bit dinosaur-like, don't you think? Well, I'm just stopping at this patch here because you can see just down here on the beach, in between the rocks, there's some quite nice formations of the marcasite and pyrite. If you look at my hands too, I'm getting really cold today. Now in the evening, the, uh, the wind's got up a bit more start to make my hands go really cold. Well that ammonite's seen better days. A bit worse for where that one is. I'm coming right down out of Pinay Bay now and I'm going to walk back. Well the sea is turning, the evening's drawing in and it's getting quite cold here. My hands are getting red and I put an extra coat on. I've got my head torch for heading back. So I'm going to head through towards Monmouth Beach and then back to the car park. Just spotted this one again, still eroding away with the water in the middle. Nice bit of driftwood there and I'm standing here now at the ammonite pavement as I walk back to Monmouth Beach car park and I'm heading through along these ledges which are nice like pavements to walk along almost that get you quickly back to the beach area where I want to go up past the beach huts through to the car park and you can see there the sun is really going down now it's getting quite dark please don't forget to like share and subscribe if you enjoyed the content of this fossil hunting video